All right, hello everyone. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a uh, project using Visual Studio. Okay, so I assume you log into the uh, uh, Sullivan VDI using the desktop uh, dot Sullivan dot edu right here. Once you log in, uh, you're gonna go into the program and you're gonna see the Visual Studio right here. Um, you may have a newer version in Visual Studio 2017, but the step I'm showing here is going to be the same. Okay, so click over here. You can open a Visual Studio, right? So I'm going to start with the uh, new project right here, or you can click new project over here, right? The same. New project. All right, so in Visual Studio 2015, we're going to use the console application right here. Uh, in 2017, maybe you're going to see .NET uh, Core or .NET Framework. Uh, basically, they make the difference when uh, we consider the server application of a uh, performance and scalability, but uh, in our case, uh, that doesn't matter. So just pick any of them, okay? Um, so in um, Visual Studio 2015 right here, I can click uh, console application and I can put the name of my project. Uh, that's going to be a uh, hello world. Okay. Right, you're going to have the location specify the folder you want to store the uh, project. Later on, you're going to uh, go into the folder and copy the uh, code you generated and submit to Dropbox, okay? So I just assume right here, uh, just default. Okay, now the uh, Visual Studio can uh, initiate the environment uh, for you to program and also uh, with the namespace that's gonna be associated with the uh, project name or the application name you just uh, name in the previous step. Right, so here's the important thing. Um, this is a class with default uh, using Visual Studio. Basically, we're working on the uh, object-oriented uh, programming. So the class right here specify a set of the uh, method we can use and so the data we use. So at this moment, um, just, uh, just leave this one uh, default like that. I want you to focus on this one right here where we can write the code inside here, okay? All right, so your task for the first one can write a um, syntax to display the string hello world so how can we do it in uh, c sharp that could be using the console dot right so you have the uh, two commands right here right and right line so right basically when you display string the cursor gonna go into the end of that string right line when you display the string the cursor gonna move to the next uh, line in uh, on the uh, on the console okay so i can use the right line the syntax gonna be a uh, the string gonna be inside of the double quote so that's gonna be hello world okay and um, you have to close uh, double quote right here and remember in the end right here you have the uh, semi column right here if you miss this one just gonna get error okay so i delete this one right here so you see this error right here so put this one in all right when you do that you save it and you run okay so it's just compiling right here just run and you see the the black screen just uh, appear and disappear so so programmer here is running and it's working well but uh, you didn't see anything because uh, it's running and it's just closed right away so in order to observe it we're gonna add one more console dot read okay so basically this command right here gonna be a uh, waiting for you to uh, enter something from the keyboard and hit enter and um, so by, by doing that the uh, console output uh, the output of the program uh, that string right here gonna a uh, display uh, on the console and you can see the output okay so start again right here you can see the hello world right here because we use the right line right here so the uh, cursor basically move from here down to here and waiting for the input you uh, enter from the keyboard and once i hit enter 
uh, that's going to close the, you know, the, the, um, um, the console uh, and uh, just back into the um, code editor right here. All right, I think that's, that's all for uh, the, the second week assessment. So I want you to follow the step, create your own uh, project, and uh, run the program, copy the output, uh, and put into the report, then you upload the uh, code and also the report to the Dropbox. Okay, uh, one more thing uh, where you're gonna find the code, uh, you're gonna go back right here. It depends on the location you specify when you create a project. In my case, it's gonna be in this folder right here. So I can have hello world right here. Inside hello world right here, I want you to copy the .cs file right here. Uh, along with the uh, report and com uh, uh, compress them and upload to the Dropbox. All right, I think that's all for this week. And um, I hope you can uh, create your own uh, project, run it, and uh, I think that's uh, all for this week. Thank you, and see you next video.